Today we'll learn about electricity. Visualize a different world where you couldn't turn on a light, a computer, or even use the electric kettle to make your favorite hot chocolate drink. We use electricity constantly in our daily lives. It is one of our most important types of energy and power that we use. Its uses range from small batteries that operate your remote control car to huge motors that power ships and trains. Electricity operates our lights, runs our refrigerators, kitchen appliances, and powers motors. So electricity is very much important to all of us. It takes a lot of work to generate this magical thing called electricity. Let's first learn the most popular way to generate electricity. How to make electricity. We get the electricity by simply changing other forms of energy. For example, we can burn coal or many other fuels which diverts chemical energy into thermal energy or heat energy. Heat energy will cause water to heat sufficiently and move in a tank. Energy of motion is kinetic energy. The kinetic energy in moving water causes a turbine to turn a generator. A generator changes kinetic energy of a spinning wire or coiled wire to electrical energy. The wire is surrounded on both sides by a very strong magnet. On one side, the negative side of the magnet is facing the wire. On the other side, the positive side of the magnet is facing the wire. Electrons within the wire are attracted to the north part of the magnet and will push away from the south part of the magnet. By spinning the wire, it continuously passes by the two opposite charges of magnetism. The electrons within the wire move towards the positive magnet end and away from the negative magnet end. We see uses of this electricity in our homes and schools. Now let's remember the definition of electricity. Electricity is a type of energy that can build up in one place or flow from one place to another place. There are two types of electricity, static and current. Let's study about these one by one. Static electricity. When electricity gathers in one place, it is called static electricity. For example, when you rub your feet on a carpet and then zap something when you touch it, it is static electricity that you have built up on the surface of your skin, discharging onto another object. Lightning is also a powerful example of static electricity. Current electricity. Electricity that moves from one place to another place is known as current electricity. Examples of current electricity are starting a motorbike, turning on a light, watching TV, playing video games, charging a cell phone, and many more. Do you remember whenever you visit the local grocery shop they use weighing machines to measure the weight? Do you have any idea how electricity is measured? No. No, it cannot be measured like that. We can measure electricity in a number of ways, but few of them are particularly important. Voltage. The voltage is a type of electrical force that makes electricity run through a wire, and we measure this in volts. The greater the voltage, the more current will tend to flow. Volt is an electrical unit of voltage that is represented by the symbol V. Current. Voltage itself does not go anywhere. What moves through the electrical wire in a circuit is an electrical current. It is a steady flow of electrons that is measured in amperes or amps. Power. Together, voltage and current provides us electrical power. The bigger the voltage and the bigger the current, the more electrical power we have. We measure electrical power in units called watts. Now, we are all impressed with various uses of electricity, but it is dangerous as well. It sounds so scary, and it is. If you remember the safety rules, you can use electricity without getting hurt. Below is some safety rules before using anything related to electricity. Don't plug a lot of stuff into a single extension cord. Always fly your kite away from power lines. Keeping electrical things far away from water. Do not climb a tree near power lines. Always wear 
unwet slippers before touching any electrical equipment. Stay away from broken or fallen power lines. Always ask your parents' help before touching electrical equipment. I hope now you know much about electricity. Be careful while using electricity and be kind to one another. Thanks for watching. Bye bye!